is that we have to ask some very tough questions whether uh, this, this notion of a STEM shortage is actually something of a fairly big lie that we've been told, where uh, that, uh, that um, uh, you know, uh, one of, one of my, my colleagues believes that, uh, uh, that um, the STEM shortage was, uh, was, was uh, this, is sort of the, this is sort of left-wing conspiracy theory, but uh, he believes it was, it was uh, concocted by the Reagan administration in order to encourage too many people to go into these fields and drive down all their wages. Um, but, um, but, um, um, but even if, um, even if there's no sort of uh, full intentionality uh, along those lines, uh, one, one, uh, uh, it's, it's sort of a, it's an incredible gloss on things. And, uh, and you know, I, I sometimes wonder whether the people who are in STEM fields are actually even worse than off than the people in humanities fields. I think in the humanities fields, you have a pretty clear sense that um, you will not be employable based on what you've studied. <laughs> and so uh, you will scramble really hard to figure out what you're actually going to do. Um, whereas um, the, the people who are in these STEM fields, you know, may be under the, um, the illusion that there are actually well-paying jobs in those fields, um, and so they will be even less well prepared for uh, for life outside of academia. Um, I think that, um, and and so and so um, and so you know, and so again, I think we have to always frame this as a somewhat broader uh, context. And so when we say, you know, why are there not enough, why are all the rocket scientists going to work on Wall Street? Um, we shouldn't immediately just blame Wall Street uh, and say it's evil, Wall Street's paying them too much. Uh, we should also perhaps be open to the idea that there aren't enough jobs for rocket scientists to build rockets, um, or uh, that, uh, and that, that it's, 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 uh, it's, it's partially driven by the other side of this ledger as well. So, um, so I definitely am sympathetic to the idea that it would be good if we produced uh, more, uh, more, more uh, scientists, engineers, technologists, uh, but we should ask some very hard questions about uh, why, uh, why, this is, um, why this has been such a difficult field to go into. And there certainly are all these engineering fields one could point to where it was just a bad decision to go in. When I was, when I was an undergraduate at Stanford in the, in the late 1980s, um, you know, and with the benefit of hindsight, computer science was a good field. It was, it was not in the engineering department. You know, electrical engineering, I think, was still, still borderline, even though you know, at this point, semiconductors is sort of not, not, a, not as good a field to go into. But just about every other engineering field would, would have been uh, a, bad, uh, a bad decision, say nothing of the, of the pure sciences.